Today, I'm going to show you a simple and cute DIY Greek goddess costume. From the headband to the accessories to the toga, I've got you all covered. Let's start with the headpiece. You're going to need a headband that matches the color of your hair. You also need some golden fake flowers and you can get them at Dollar Tree. And a hot glue gun. Since you're going to be wearing your headband, part of it will lie past your ears and you don't need to decorate the ends. So measure out about 2 inches from the ends and make a mark. Usually I would just draw it in with a marker, but to let it be visible on camera for you, I'll tie on a clear piece of elastic. You're going to separate all of the golden flowers from the leaves and then remove the green part that keeps them together. Then cut off the petals from two of your flowers and reserve the other flowers for later. Now arrange your flowers and leaves on the headband as you desire. I like to place a big flower on the side and then decorate the rest of the headband by layering on the leaves. Once you have that all planned out, you're going to hot glue them to the headband. Be very careful because the glue can burn your skin. I'd recommend placing the glue on the headband first and then gently put the leaves on. When the glue begins to cool, you can press the leaves in further. Continue doing this until you get to the other side. By the way, the leaves doesn't have to be straight on the headband. You can tilt them to the side and layer them on as much as you wish. Just be really creative with it. Here's how my headpiece look at the end. Moving on to the accessories. We're going to need a hair tie and a bobby pin. You're going to start by making a bracelet. So grab a leaf and glue it onto the metal part of the hair tie. Then place a flat flower on top and glue it to the sides of the leaf. I find that using the leaf to bind the flower to the hair tie will make it more secure than just gluing the flower directly onto the hair tie itself. When you're done, you can wear this piece of accessory on your wrist as a bracelet or tie it in your hair. If you want to make a pin, then you can easily hot glue a flower on the bobby pin. But I find it much easier if you would just stick the whole of the pin into the flower. Lastly, you're going to grab another piece of fake flower or leaves and place a safety pin into it. You can then use this to decorate your outfit by pinning it to your sleeves or on your belt, and I'll show you how to do that later. Now onto the hair. You can wear some simple curls or dress it up into an elegant downdo or updo. I've uploaded a tutorial for these two hairstyles, and I've linked them on the screen as well as in the description box if you want to learn how to do them. For shoes, I'd wear some sandals with golden straps. This pair is originally from Express, but I thrifted it from Goodwill for less than $10. As for the dress, anything white, cream, or beige will work. The one I'm wearing is from Ross, and it was less than $15. I love that the sleeves are laced, which adds a feminine touch. For a modern look, you can belt this dress with a golden bow belt. If you want something that's more themed, then you can use some thin gold strings. I got this from Michaels for about $4.00. And I honestly think that's a little expensive for the length. So if you're on a budget, I just recommend getting some cheaper golden ribbons or strings. So basically, you're going to place this over your dress and crisscross them to the back. Then crisscross them to the front again and continue until you like how it looks. And then just tie the ends together. If you want to further accessorize your outfit, then you can pin the golden flower onto your belt or sleeve. I'm just using a safety pin right here, and you're done! Here's the final look. I couldn't capture everything in the frame, so I had to use a long mirror. This is a Halloween look that's appropriate for school, and it's also great for indoor costume parties because it's really comfortable. Now, if you don't have a suitable dress and want to be warmer, then I will show you several simple ways to make a dress and a toga. You're going to need a big piece of white fabric, and you can use your curtains or your bed sheets. The first way is to make a tube dress, and all you're going to do is place the fabric behind you and grab the ends together in the front. Then, just tie them in a knot. I'm wearing a white tube dress as an undercover up, but you can wear anything underneath that you like. 
If you really want to be cozy, then you can even wear leggings. You can then belt this to give it some shape. You can also wear this to the side by tying the ends around your arm to make a thin sleeve. The second way is to wrap one side of the fabric around you and tuck the ends into your tube dress or safety pin it to your top. Then, pull the other end across and twist it over your shoulder. You can safety pin this to your top and tuck the ends inside. The third way is my favorite and you're going to start by bringing one side over and tucking it into your top. Then bring the other side all around your back and bring it over your front shoulder. Take out the ends that you tucked in earlier and tie with the ends that just went over your shoulder. When you're satisfied with how your toga looks, you can attach a golden flower at your sleeve or belt to make it look more fancy. And you're done! This toga will keep you warm all day. I hope this video was enjoyable or helpful to some of you out there. If you happen to try out this costume, then please send me a picture through Instagram. I would love, love, love to see it. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic Halloween. Toodles!